The next three scenes are to show you exercises for the rider to improve her balance, her coordination, and her confidence on the horse. For mounting, the side reins are taken off and of course the stirrup strap as well. When she has mounted, the horse is led forward a few steps and the side reins are reattached. This young lady's name is Emmy and she is a working student at Brayburn Farm. This first series of exercises addresses the rider's upper body, shoulder position, flexibility in the torso, and general confidence building. So just walk. Good. So Emmy is my student and her horse is Jake and we're going to demonstrate upper body exercises and for those I'm going to let her keep her stirrups on and I plan on taking her stirrups away from her uh, a little later on. Um, Emmy would you first hold on with uh, just your right hand to either the bucking strap or the pommel, whichever feels better to you. And try to hold on with only two fingers, your index finger and your middle finger. Good. Now, as an alternative, hold on with both hands, just the index fingers of both your hands. That's okay, too. And, of course, I want you to hold on if ever you feel your balance becoming precarious. And um, now, hold on for me, please, with just the outside hand and try the two-finger approach. You go out, Jake. Good boy. And let's start with circling backwards with your left arm in a big, slow circle. When your hand is above your head, really stretch. Good. And even when you bring your hand down, try to keep a little of that open feeling in your shoulder. Good. Good. And switch hands. You can hold on briefly with the inside hand. Now, we don't do this very often, but just if you were a complete beginner, I might introduce it this way. Now, try to circle backwards with both arms like a pinwheel, slowly. And use this exercise to emphasize the stretch across your chest and the rotation of your shoulder joints. Emmy, do you have any um, old broken bones or shoulder injuries or anything that I should know about? Okay, if anything I ask you to do hurts, tell me, and I won't make you do that, okay? Good. Now, let's try another exercise. Hold on lightly with your outside hand again, and stretch your right hand up above your head, and hold it there. Now, bring it to the side like the wing of an airplane. Good and reach in front of you straight with that arm. Good. Now let's do it with both arms together. 
first both above your head, if that's not uncomfortable, and then out to the side like the wings of an airplane, good, and then forward, good. Now do that without me saying now do this, now do that. Do it a little bit faster, just a little, just for the coordination of it. Good girl. Good girl. Very good. Good. All right. And go back to holding on lightly with your outside hand, please. And um, another exercise for both your arms. You appear to have really quite good balance, so I, and your horse is, seems very trustworthy. So lift both arms to the side like the wings of an airplane and have them really be opposite each other. So your chest is expanded and your hands are as high as your shoulders. Good. Very good. Now, twist around to the left and look at your left hand. Good. And then slowly twist around to the right and look at your right hand. And in this exercise, you are supposed to be rotating slightly everything from the waist up to the top of your head, but also keeping a feeling of balance across those arms that are not having one higher than the other. Good girl. Come on, Jakey. Good. Very good. Now, lower your arms. Come on, Jakey. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right. And again, hold on lightly, please, with your outside hand and fold your left arm behind your back near your waist. Slide your elbow over to your body. Good. And apply just enough pressure to kind of realize you have a little push against your back, but not so much pressure that you hollow your back. Maybe just for demonstration purposes, could you hollow your back and show us what not to do? Good girl. Good girl. Now straighten your lower back so that it isn't hollow, but just nice and straight. Good. Very good. Now I'd like to show... Oh yes, and now try another exercise. Um, take your hand out from behind your back and put your left hand at your waist just above your hip like this. Good. But shoulders open and back. Good. Now put the right hand on your right hip so you're doing both of them. Very good. Good. Now, uh, well, something you can add to this is just with your head alone, look to the outside of the circle, then look to the center, and look to the inside of the circle so that you don't turn your body when you turn your head, which sometimes has to be something you work on. Now, be careful not to hollow your back. It's a little hollow. Good. Very good. And look left, center, and right, or vice, you know, vice versa. Good girl. Very good. Exercise I was going to have you do, Emmy, while you're walking, is to take both hands off your strap and try with your right hand to reach down toward your left toe without holding onto the front or the back of the saddle with your other hand. Good, and talk to him, good boy. And come back up and try with your left hand to go down to your right toe. Be careful not to swing your legs back which you're not, but is something that does happen unintentionally with people. Good. Good. Do that once more in both directions. Good. You're very supple. Good for you. Very good. Once more over there. Good girl. Okay. Good. And let me show you one other exercise that is my pet exercise. Take one glove off for me. Have you done this? Well, we'll try. Take the, take the glove that's off your hand, put it up over your shoulder with one hand, now over the, put it in your hand that it was on, and now just holding the fingertips of the glove, put it up over your shoulder, and then try with your right hand to reach around and back and get it. Good, and take it, and then put it up over your right shoulder and take it with your left hand. Good girl. Good, and go back and forth a few times. I like this exercise because it finally gives the rider something to do with your hands that doesn't involve the reins. Excellent. You're very good at that. Wonderful. All right, so finish that one and put your glove back on. And I'm going to prepare in a moment to ask him to trot. Um, I would like to take the stirrups off now. Yes, let's take the stirrups off. Why don't you ask him to halt? 
not off, but just cross them, okay?